Welcome back, game completionists, to a Kirby 64 in the Crystal Shards. While we had defeated Miracle Matter and eradicated the invasion of Dark Matter from the Ripple Star, one of the principal planets of the galaxy, wherever we are, we, wherever we are, we have returned to the Rock Star. In one of the earlier levels of the game, we're going to be systematically and methodically going through each of these levels with the powers that we need in order to solve the crystal shard puzzles, like this first puzzly puzzle here, using an unexpected power combination that honestly only has one function. Mm, to hurt Kirby? Oh, well, Kirby jumps. Kirby evades. Kirby lives. Kirby survives. Yay! Kirby Surviving throws Kirby's bombs. The best type of Kirby. Yeah, I love the Looney Tunes type of inspiration with Kirby. He just he just pulls bombs out of nowhere. Nah. And as a reminder that any crystal shards that you have previously obtained in levels will be replaced by. Uh, by uh, one-up stars. Yes, the one-up stars will allow you to get the number of stars you need in order to get another Kirby life. Okay. So, what is this one? Oh, this Let's is light take bulb, a look. Right. I can see clearly now my it powers are bright. Gotta push the buttons, the right ones in the right order. There we go. Yay. Yay. We did it. Now, mind you, you can solve that puzzle without using flash bulb, without using light bulb. The thing is, is you're gonna be, you're, you're better off just getting the light bulb to figure out what the combination is, because you're gonna sink as many as like 15 minutes just trying to figure out what the correct combination is. Um... I don't think it's 15, to be perfectly honest. I think it's, like, 9. To, because, uh... Are, aren't you only allowed to push down 3? You have to... Right. You have to push down 3 buttons. I think there are 6 of them in total. Which means that the total number of combinations is, like... 6 oh, factorial. No, no, no. It's not, um... It's, they, they, there, there is definitely like a, a math equation that you can run to figure out how many combinations there are. Let's let, let's say it's a hundred. It's way less than a hundred. Pro, pro, honestly, probably less than a hundred. First, second, third, and then all the recombinations therein. But just, but just like for example, if one button was the first button, that means that there would be if there are six buttons. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, th so there's like, okay, so so there's probably about like 50 different combinations that you could do, but you would have to run each of them. You might as well just reveal right away what the correct combination is with the light bulb power. Right. Now the thing is, can you figure out without, you know, looking up a guide video, for instance, that light bulb is what you need in order to solve the puzzle. Do you, do you even know that light bulb was a thing? Because there are so many power combinations in Kirby 64 that your humble commentators and rock rabbit commentaries couldn't even get them all. Um, I mean, I can get them all. Like, I'm pretty sure you still haven't shown off Gordo, which is sad, because I like Gordo. Hmm. Yeah, and there's some combinations. Which one Gordo is. I think Gordo is Bomb and Spike, but... That would make sense. Be a little cross-eyed dweeb. We. Mm. So, well, uh, apparently we need cutter for uh, we need cutter for the next uh, one. What do we need to fuse cutter with? We gotta fuse cutter with rock because we are gonna do we, the we need, oh, Easter that's egg. Right, yeah, we need to do uh, <sighs> the Rick statue. Yep, gotta do the Rick statue combination. This one is. Th this one, honestly, is probably the most difficult to get in the entire game. This one is like, okay, maybe you've seen Light Bulb. That's one thing. 
this you gotta requires, know this specifically requires a pat this specifically requires past knowledge of a curb of the of the other kirby's dreamland titles hey well i mean i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say it's a requirement i saw i solved this it, I solved this as a child just fine without the rep without having the reference readily available. The thing is, is it took a lot of trial and error to figure it out. Oh, you're not gonna use pitch? Dang it. Okay, there's the crystal shard. Now we gotta morph into the correct form. Okay. So Chu allows us to open up uh, open up the wall and then Nope. And, and then, Rick. well, okay. Or, or, so no, this for, is Nyago. So hey, Nyago. First, break down the wall. Second, go through the platform because Statue Kirby cannot go through platforms. Third, find the correct. See, you would you would think that Ku would be no, it, right? It's not because Ku can fly. Yeah, Ku and Pitch can't fly high enough. Hey, not Nyago. Because. There's Rick. I mean, what I like about what I like about this puzzle is that it's not like it gives you a lot of options. Like, there are two walls on each side. You would think like, okay, do I got to do like the, like the Super Mario thing where you're just leaping from wall to wall? No, you just get Rick. Rick climb. Rick. Rick grabs. He climbs. He jumps. He grabs. He climbs. He jumps. You just keep doing this over and over again. So you're gaining height because of the point of reference on the far right hand side. Okay, and the camera's starting to pitch up, and you get the crystal shard. Yay! Thank you, Rick. Yeah. Boy. All right, and then... So, I, I know... Oh, you would... All right, I think I had to show me, like, going back into this level. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but this is so from the... an earlier cut of the playthrough. Right. Because I didn't, I, I did, suffice to say, I did not actually show the process to getting this crystal shard. Except it's on the far left-hand side at the very top of the same room. Okay. As seen in previous video. And that's not the this, only crystal shard left. Uh, and yeah, the, uh, the, the final crystal shard uh, is uh, a part of the, uh, the, the current here. Man, there are a lot of these cutter forms. Um, yeah, you get access to all. Uh, you get access to each of the Dreamland animal friends, with the exception of Gooey. You get uh, you get Chew, you get Nyago, you get Rick, you get uh, Kine, Ku, and uh, and Pitch. Highly recommended you use some form of invulnerability in order to safely go through this environment, which is convenient that we had Stone Carter. And you can if you miss the shard, you can always sink to the bottom like I had to do here. Get it, Nyago. It. Kirby could do it on his own power anyway. And in the next part, we are going to continue our hunt um, for Cloud, these crystal have, shards. Uh, four minutes left. What are you talking about? After the four minutes that we have left <laughs> of this video, we are going to continue rounding up the crystal shards. I was pretty sure that there were only three crystal shard gets in this video. <laughs> okay. So for this particular one, we're we going have on dynamite. an excavation. Fuck this power. Thankfully, this is the only time in the game where you need dy dynamite in order to get a crystal shard. Most of the time, you have to exploit a power combination only once to get a crystal shard. They're not going to require it from you, you know more than once or like an egregious number of times right most of the time you do need to combine powers in order to break like, open I floors think, or i think walls. mall saber is actually one of the only uh, one of the only powers that the game actually requires you to use tw oh, one of the only power combinations the game requires you to use twice and both of them are near the end of the game so What will change is how difficult it is to, to get the to the point where the crystal shard is using the power combination. Yeah, I see. We have our access blocked by a stalactite. Hey, oh, you, wonderful. Actually you actually remember to use the hard hat. <laughs> this, this is like my sixth attempt going through this level with dynamite in order to get it. So I did finally figure out that you have to use hard hat Kirby in order to stop the dynamite finally from hurting you. Because it hurts quite a bit. Uh, Thing it's, is, it's though, only one point of damage, but yeah. 
It's an it's a prick, it's a nigh on inescapable one point of damage. Yeah. Which makes it bad. Mm, and this is the actual problem that Dynamite has. It's not it's not the uh, it's not the uh, unintuitive amount uh, amount of use of uh, the uh, uh, the unintuitive using using of hard hat to protect Kirby. It's the fact that if you miss with Dynamite, you're sitting there for like 10, 10 fucking seconds waiting for it to actually go off. And thankfully it explodes on contact, so all you have to do is just launch it at an enemy. Neither the enemy's gonna walk into it or it will just explode right away. Right. Get that hat get that hat on quickly. Alright, so it's here. <clears throat> Uh, it's the next room, okay. actually. The next room. The ex the exposition that we are observing here is necessary to demonstrate why this it, particular it, power up sucks. Because not only do you have to you have to come into this level with dynamite in order in order to get this, and then you have to carry it through the entire level. This this is honestly the one of the worst crystal shards in the game to get. correct that you it is highly recommended that you come into the level with the power up seldom do you seldom are you unable to put the power combination together in the middle of the level however that would require you to take extra steps greater care and more time to get the power and this is a, and this is a level in which uh, you never get access to you, you don't actually get access to bombs specifically uh, I think rock is available at, at one point, but bomb is not. The only uh, the only Poppy Bros uh, 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 spawns that are uh, that are actually available uh, in uh, in this level specifically are during the train ride, and because they're during the cart ride, Kirby can't get them. No escaping the rock blast. So in theory, you could come you could come into this level with bomb and then and, and then uh, get dynamite. Um, and then get dynamite from that, but then you're then you're dealing with a normal bomb for uh, for the whole level. And normal bomb, although is decent enough at clearing out enemies, this section specifically has got a lot of airborne threats. And normal bomb doesn't deal with airborne threats that well. The longer you hold the bomb button, the higher the volley. Now blow open the cave. Yay! In the next episode, we'll continue on our quest to get more crystal shards. Be safe, everybody.